today's shave, which I hope everyone's having a good day. Um, mine's going pretty good, just busy at work and stuff. But today I'm going to be shaving with the How to Grow a Mustache Steeplechase. Um, I think, I've been trying to decide which one I'm going to shave with first. I've lathered them both and they both smell amazing and it really takes me back in time, really in the 90s. But I think I'm going to um, use the Steeplechase Green. Um, this is just the regular um, Polo scent. And um, along with it, I'm going to be using my Merker 15C Open Comb. I'm um, using a Gillette 7 o'clock uh, Super Platinum, uh, the Black Ninja, it's the first time I'll be using it actually. And then I will be using my Smoke 4 brush, which I have soaking. Um, so let's get started. Just going to wet the face as usual. Now, I've been using the uh, Merker slant for a very long time. Actually, not a very long time, probably about uh, two weeks, maybe. Um, so I haven't used the open comb in a while. Um, I'm just squeezing out all the water. Um, I remember liking the open comb, actually really enjoying it. Um, so I want to revisit it see how it compares to the slant which I don't think it really does compare but it's just nice to have different uh, different brushes to use at different times now I got these soaps on the uh, on Douglas's first release was lucky enough to make it on time. Um, I think he's having another one here soon. Hopefully, anyways. For the people that missed out on the first one. It smells great. But I think she loaded good enough. Looks like I lost the hair. I'm going to wet my face again and then uh, start the face lather and if I need more later I'll uh, reload the brush but I don't think I do I've used a uh, badger for so long loading a bore is a bit different to me for some reason I hope everyone's doing doing well. I am, but it's just been busy. Work and the puppy and it's good enough now I did realize that with the uh, sorry, I got shaving cream in my ear now, I did realize with the uh, black ninjas or the, the super platinums that I did have to spend a little bit more time than normal 
with the blade alignment. I really don't know if it's this razor or what. If anyone uses one of these, it's the Merker 15C open comb. And if they're having the same issue as I am, please let me know. Um, I'm not object to buying another one. I really enjoy this razor and want it to be a top performing razor. But if you didn't see the video before, um, it takes me forever to align the blade. I haven't had this issue with uh, my 1930s open comb or any other razor for that matter. And as you may have noticed, I started against the grain or with the, cross the grain. Because I've realized here recently that on my cheeks, I really don't have to go um, with, across, against, all that fun stuff. Now, here's the part that I'm having the biggest trouble with using my left hand. I started out using it back in the day and stopped and for some reason it is taking me forever to get back into the habit of using it. Not to mention my muscle memory is just shot with my left hand. So hopefully after some practice I can get back to using it. Looks like I nicked myself. The soap's performing awesomely, just like all of uh, all of their soaps. And the new formula versus the old, I don't see a difference except for the new one's softer. But when it comes to lathering. Pretty much the same to me. The new one may be easier to lather, but not by much. <laughs> my muscle down there, my left arm is shot. But it just takes a couple times, or maybe a little bit more, and it'll be back.
First pass, pretty good. It's actually really good. It's really just touch up at this point. That's what I like about the aggressive razors, which 15C isn't all that aggressive, but it does cut their hair fairly well. I realize that the more passes that I have to do, the more irritated my skin gets. And I do love bowl lathering, but I'm really enjoying face lathering too. This brush really made a difference with me and face lathering. I've always face lathered with uh, badger brushes, which worked out really well. But um, Boar's just irritated me really badly. And uh, those were Omega Boar's. Um, but this brush is so, so soft. Now I'm going against the grain where it applies. And now back to my left hand. This is where it gets interesting. a little bit there There's really little to no irritation right now. And this is where I usually get cocky and create irritation.
clean that up. I want to keep going, but I should just stop. It's working on it. Hey, I'm going to do a little bit of touch up. Now, do not try this at home. But the soap is so slippery. I got so much water. I can touch up in places. Just not on my neck. Yeah, I think we're good. Let me clean up. So today's shave was overall very nice. I use my left hand more than I have been, which is great because what I realized is that I hardly ever have irritation on this side of the neck, but I do on this side of the neck. So I thought maybe it's because I use my right hand over here and then come over here and use my right hand again. So maybe I was doing something wrong. So now I'm trying to switch right hand on my left side, left hand on my right side. And it's been working out really well. Now I'm going to try something different today. Uh, haven't been having too much luck with aftershave. But uh, I'm going to try this uh, Thayer's Witch Hazel aftershave with aloe. Um, tried it once, did sting a little, but overall I don't think I was all that irritated afterwards. And I need to find a container, but it's kind of a pain to put on straight out of what it comes in. Definitely stinging, but no irritation has jumped out. But as you can see, the bottle is just a big open mouth, so I put my finger on it and all that fun stuff. There's a fly in here. Not sure where that came from. But um, overall, it was a great shave. Um, used my Merker 15C open comb. There is a little bit of residue. I'll clean that up. Nothing major. Um, I haven't noticed a lot of residue with um, the older um, formula for how to grow a mustache. So it may just be the new formula, but I have used the barber um, pole. Yeah, that's what it is now. The barber pole. And I haven't noticed any residue. So, um, I don't, know, I don't know what's going on there, but easy to clean. Uh, the one soap that I used was the uh, How to Grow a Mustache Synergy 2.0 Steeple Chase Green. Love the scent, love the soap. Um, and it also comes in Sport, which is the blue. And I'm using this next time, or in the near future. I'm sure it performs the same, it just smells differently. Um, and Right now, we got the green, we got the blue. I like the green. <laughs> I like the green the best. Um, I still really enjoy the uh, blue, the sport. 
But compared out of the two, I believe the green is what I like the most. Um, so with soap, we have the Smog. I believe it's the 1800. And there's still a lot of soap left in there. Enough for another one or two passes. And then um, the Thayer's Aftershave Witch Hazel with Aloe. Which, so far, good results. No, I'm not breaking out. Um, or anything out of the normal. And the blade was a Gillette 7 o'clock Super Platinum Black Ninja. And honestly, I wish the blade was black, but I deal with it. But uh, thanks for watching. And I'm going to go kill this fly. But uh, I'm hopeful I'll make another video next week. I have some uh, lather reviews coming up. Um, Ginger's Garden. Um, Blades Grim. Arca Tube. Um, Parasso Tube. And I think that's it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Remember, hit that like, share, and subscribe button.